said that it was 1958, right. I was here in 1957, and they didn't have no pastor, <laughs> no lay uh, pastor or preacher, local preacher, they call it at that time. They didn't have it. And so my friend and I, she was a Baptist girl, and I'm a Methodist, but we didn't have uh, the assembly of God was with us. So she was invited to that place, and they said that uh, we don't have anything, pastor or preacher. And there was a man said that uh, Assembly of God uses this building. It was quite long building. And we used it from morning at 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock is Assembly of God. So when they get out, I don't know who was preaching and leading them for the Assembly of God. But after that, it was time for Baptists to come in there and to uh, have a Sunday school. Ben White met us. He says, we don't have anything else. We just have a Sunday school. Sunday school for Assembly of God. Sunday school for Baptist Church. Sunday school, the best afternoon is Methodist. Oh, OK. You're not organized. Uh -uh, there's no function going on. We just started Sunday school. I said, okay. And so we went back because this friend of mine, she's young. I was young, but she into that teaching. So she was teaching Baptist youth. And so it was very few in there. And then when we, they got out, the Methodists coming in, one o'clock to three o'clock, is with very few, but there's the youth and the children were there. But I went in and then watched this uh, adult class. So I don't know who was teaching youth and the children, but that's where we at. And then when we got through, this is what we do, but I hope, he says, I hope somebody will send us a preacher that will take care of these three denominations we share this building with each other. And so that's the reason why we get out and they come in, they get out and come in. I said, well, that's great. I said, all of us are Native Americans, we don't know how to share. But I said, that's real good that y'all are doing in different denominations, in the same building, in the same subject, it's a Sunday school. And uh, so, from that on today, there's a, we call it Davis Church, but that's the Indian Revival Center. It's over here, still running. And then it used to be First Baptist Church off of Singleton right now. They're not over there in Beacon, they're over here. And they're still running. I don't know who is the pastor. But over here, yeah, it was Dallas Indian Methodist but we become a united, and then we call the Alice in the United Methodist Church. This is where we're at today. And then, sometime I was thinking this way. What was the started, put that foundation for us, the three denominations? It wasn't no fry bread, it wasn't no crab, it wasn't no powwow, it wasn't no softball, uh -uh. it was Sunday school was a foundation they put down for us. That's why we are here. These three churches is still running. And so I'm glad I'm, you see this. And then this is what, it can happen. It's like you said, preach the gospel. That's all. And teach. Yeah, that's all. We don't have to need any other thing, but it's going to come. And that's why we are here today. It's a foundation. It was a Sunday school. So this is what I've seen when they were over there in the Singleton before they organized. And then they were looking for preacher or pastor at that time. But Burcham came, I heard that. It was in the morning paper. It says that uh, this boss, my boss said that, hey, you were looking for Methodist. There's a pastor named Burcham Bob. It's going to have a Wednesday night organization somewhere in West Dallas. 
I said, oh, I will hear later. But I was attached with six my friends. We go to Baptist Church in downtown. Even that one is still running. This is where we used to go. And I didn't come back real soon until later on. Yeah, I came back to this Dallas. Not here, over there at Ewing. This is where I become a member. So I thought I'd just let you know about that white building. <laughs> Thank you.